MPP Eleanor McMahon and MP Karina Gould held their annual New Year's Levy at the Art Gallery of Burlington on Sunday. Many residents attended the event to kick off 2018 with live art, woodworking and speeches from MPP McMahon and MP Gould. Karina Gould, the member of parliament for Burlington and I have been doing this levy together for a couple of years and it's not an uncommon thing in communities across Ontario for folks to gather in the new year to reflect on the year that was and to wish each other Happy New Year uh, for, for 2018 and so this is our opportunity to invite people from across the community to gather to come to Burlington. And we choose the Art Gallery of Burlington, well, I mean, it's a be pretty beautiful spot. And uh, the uh, staff here are awfully kind to us, and because the guilds come, and uh, they are here doing work. And it allows people from the community to experience the Art Gallery, and to see a little bit of its inner workings, and to open up uh, the book, and see what goes on here at a regular basis at the Art Gallery. So working artists, artists working in the Weaver studio, painting all around us here today, and give citizens that access to artists at work, which is really kind of neat. The event was also a chance to reflect upon the accomplishments of 2017. From a personal perspective and a, as a legislator, some of the important things that, that we accomplished last year, and certainly for me, were I was the minister responsible for the sesquicentennial or 150th birthday, and so there were many, many highlights. During my remarks today, I talked about um, a very meaningful experience for me um, uh, as the minister responsible for the um, Invictus Games. And so, I, yes, I got to meet Prince Harry and had some wonderful conversations with him and he's truly uh, a lovely young man um, and um, really had some nice exchanges with him and uh, that was very meaningful. Um, but also um, the um, Woodcarver's Guild here at the gallery, um, I'd ask them because they do beautiful canes and they give them as gift to veterans and since the Invictus Games are about wounded veterans, I asked them if they would make some special commemorative gifts, so we got to present them, and one of them was presented to His Royal Highness, so that was a very special Burlington moment for me, and how lovely to have the opportunity to bring our woodcarvers from here uh, down to Invictus to make that special presentation, and they came with me, and we presented canes to the co-captains of Team Canada, which was really kind of meaningful, so that was a very special moment for me from the last year. As a minister, I tabled legislation to deal with concussion protocols, uh, um, and we're the first government in the country to do that. We're being watched by everybody. Um, as I work with Prime Minister colleagues from across the country, really great conversations about what Ontario is doing and really proud that we're showing leadership in this arena. It was in response to a young woman who died and a coroner's review into uh, her concussion and how we can prevent other similar unfortunate deaths. So Rowan Stringer has a, become a hero to me, even though I never met her, uh, because out of her tragic circumstance has come some powerful legislation and other changes that we're going to make in 2018. On top of those announcements, the Ontario government announced the increase in minimum wage and OHIP Plus, which combined with free tuition will greatly help young generations during their first years of adulthood. A good start to ensuring the success of our future generations. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Shane Lansing.